I don't like the Eldar. Sort of. I appreciate their fun colors, and I actually painted up a whole army on commission, but out of all the 40k races, Eldar speak to me the least. Maybe if they were more grim dark. Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Eons of Battle. Eldar are weird, where the artwork shows them as these gorgeous but sinister immortal elven warriors, garbed in elegant but pragmatic armor, coated in soot and dust from the unending wars of the 41st millennium. But most paint schemes just come down to yellow. And that's too bad. I like the idea of some grimdark elves, and what is grimdark? I think it comes down to 3Ds. Dark, dirty, and desaturated. I can start with the ultra vibrant, fresh out of the factory Games Workshop aesthetic paint job and then add the grimdark on top. Now I don't have any Eldar, but I do have some elves. Wow, Jay, those miniatures look incredible. What are they? Where can I get them? Well, let me tell you. We are producing original miniatures monthly available as STLs and physical 3D prints. These are our July release, the futuristic elven warlocks with sword or spear. Available on our Patreon and sculpted by Licorice, the same artist who did our animated intro. Our previous releases are available to purchase from us as physical prints or as STLs from comics, games, and things. And if you have any ideas for miniatures you would like to see us produce, please leave your ideas in the comments below. But now I want to get my grim dark on. The posing on these elves is really fun. The futuristic elf with a sword reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. I started off setting up a very simple wet palette. Yellow, blue, red, white, and black. Nothing fancy. I don't need it. I watered down blue and base coated all the armor on the model. My paint is watery, so a tiny hint of the zenithal is showing through. And on the head, I wiped away the paint while it was still wet to create a highlight between the blue base and the white primer. Then I went to my yellow and painted this on all the cloth. I'm working carefully but quickly, just simple base coats getting the paint where it needs to go. And after yellow, I used red on the hair. I used a little water to remove a bit of paint and let the white show through. This works really well in texture like hair. And now I need brown for the pockets and I don't have brown on my palette. Luckily, blue, yellow, and red makes brown. I mixed them all together and painted this on the shaft of the spear in her little magic bag. She probably keeps a Rubik's Cube and a juice box in there. Now for purple. I mixed red and blue and then painted this on the crystals. And now with the base coat done, they look like the complete opposite of Grim Dark. But this is just step one. Step two is dousing them in Agrax Earthshade. This will darken my recesses and change the colors I've used a little, making the yellow more red and the cold blue more warm. And just like that, they have a little of the 3Ds of Grim Dark. Dirty, desaturated, and dark. Next, I mixed a little bit of white paint into my colors to make them lighter and started to highlight. I used watery paint and laid down my colors again, covering about 50% of the model this time. I painted all the raised portions of the model, doing multiple coats of thinned down glazes, and I used a dry brush for the hair. This did a better job than I could have done highlighting every individual hair, and a little dry brush of gray on the base. Now that's a little grimmer and a little darker, but I can do more. Let's give these pointy ears another Agrax shower. This will darken them even more with my original base coats almost disappearing and my last highlight showing through. Then I went back to my colors again and added even more white. At this point, my colors are desaturated, which will give the model a more natural look. And I highlighted about 25% of the model this time. Remember the Power Rangers look they started with? Well, now they look a lot like the grimdark illustrations from the codex. No tricks, no airbrush, no oils, just three colors and a healthy amount of wash paint. Boom! Those are some elves I can get behind. And it's a very simple process too. You can swap out the Agrax for Null Oil if you want a darker look, and even a colored wash. It's just washes and glazes all the way up. And I like desaturated, but you could use inks and contrast paint to add a lot of the color back in. And if you like these models, you can click on the link in the description below to pick up a copy for yourself. Last month, I painted up the Vine Knights, and New Type took up the challenge painting up both warriors in brooding dark colors with a lovely bright gold accent. And they stood on some lovely scenic bases as well. I hope to see many futuristic elven warlocks next month. 